Want to know more about how our menstrual cycle or being menopausal or postmenopausal affects our collagen, aka the production of our fascia? First of all, I want to talk about the fibroblast. The fibroblast is very rich in estrogen and it is the primary genesis for creating extracellular matrix or fascia along with the fascia site. And because the fibroblast is estrogen rich, of course, it's going to be affected by our cycles and also over our lifetime as our hormones begin to change. New research has come out that shows that when we are high in estrogen, we are actually producing more of the type 3 collagen. Now type 3 collagen, I call it like the loosey-goosey collagen. That's the thing that makes us a little bit more hypermobile, a little bit more injury prone. So that definitely can affect us in terms of how we do our workouts and just being more aware that we are more mobile and we might not want to do long sustained stretching like with yoga doing things that require too much impact so it is important to know that high estrogen equals high loosey-goosey and on the flip side when we move into ovulation and also our periods we swing the other way and we're actually laying down type 1 collagen which is like our more stiff and rigid we really start to produce more of this when we're low estrogen when we're menopausal and postmenopausal. So that's super important to know because that is going to make us tight. That is the time that we really want to fascia blast and do fascia yoga or whatever it is that you love to do for your fascia care. It also explains why women have so many issues that are related to their fascia because we are more susceptible as women because of the cycling of our estrogen.